On today's episode, I'm reviewing a portfolio for a product designer in New York. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, it's been a while since I did a portfolio review. Excited for this one, and I think we have a really interesting one today. So let's jump right into it. So this is the portfolio of Piero Juardo. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. First impression landing on this page, it's clean, it's simple. I like it, I like the colors, even though I have to say that it says product designer based in New York. This is a bit generic, like I don't even know who you are. I don't know like, who do you want to work with? So I would put something a little bit more either personal or with a little bit more context to it. This is just like saying that a milk is a milk. You want to you want to explain how it is different, like what's better about this and be a little bit more personal and unique with your kind of like creative value proposition. One more thing that I'm noticing about right now is that there is no contact button here. So it's like a website that lacks call to action. If I want to work with you, how do I do that? Where do I click? Do I have to go into the about page? We'll get there in a second. But I think that it's kind of lacking, like how do we get in touch? All right, so let's start covering the work. Uh, we have here Oviation Takes Design System. Now, initially when I review that, so first of all, a few notes. One thing is I'm looking at this on a MacBook with a Retina screen and this, I don't know, it, it looks a little bit blurry. No, I don't know, it was blurry before, but maybe I'm wrong. But I'm trying to click here and it, I can't click here. I'm trying to click here and I can't click here. Turns out only the word case study is a button. I would make the whole thing a button because I don't want to look for this button. Now, second thing, it just popped up in a new window. Like, why is that? Um, now I'm at a totally different website, um, like window, which is still part of the website. So that's weird. Um, Let's start covering down here, scrolling down here, get an overview. Um, I like I like this, even though I think there's a little bit too much letting here in the typography, but basically I'm going around here. Well, I like here, then I scroll. I kind of like the little tiny interaction that we have. Maybe by the way, interactions for the homepage would be a good idea as well. Then again, I'm looking at the layout and I, th I see that there are, there's tons of space here, but then everything here is crammed to the right. So maybe I would think about how I reposition those elements because it's just I feel like it's not a very effective way of like using the, the space of the screen. Um, but I, I like that, you know, he's showing a design system. So we're starting off with the visual inventory, showing the problem, then showing, creating a visual language. This looks wonderful. This looks wonderful as well. Single source of truth. So I like how you explain kind of the work of the design system. But then we just end like and there is nothing at the bottom not like view the next project not call to action work together no food or nothing so right now i'm at the position where i can't do anything but scroll up to the top or actually close this window and go check the next project um, so i would think about doing kind of a footer for the whole website or making sure that the you know, the, the title. Also now, so notice two things that are weird here. This page opens up a page inside the website. So they have totally different interaction. Now, one more thing that I'm noticing is now I'm on the page where there's no logo. There is just work and about. I have no context to where I am. Whose website is this? So this is kind of weird. Um, now I'm scrolling down here. Again, I love the, the case study, how you build them. Ooh, this is fancy. Um, but it took a while. Like I could have missed this. Um, let's see. Let me see. reload this page and see if I would just scroll fast here. Solution. See, I could have totally missed that thing if I wouldn't do it slowly enough. So I think you have to be careful with those interactions. If you take too long to trigger them, you might totally miss out. I think the first time I actually missed this out completely. Um, it's great. I love how you're showing the process here again. Notice it takes so long until the actual design comes into play. And honestly, it only gets to its full size when it's out of the screen. So I would I would like rethink the the timing on those interactions. But in terms of design, design looks good. I like the colors, like the typography. I think 
it's actually really good work. Not sure what is this daily dose. There's a little t like tiny mistake here below the title. That looks pretty weird. Here as well, I think this animation took way too long to to uh, to trigger, so I might have missed that. Um, and here at the end, I'm lacking a way to here it's like to continue now again i don't know where i am and so need to have a better navigation or footer for this system um, same thing here the website just ends um, all right let's skip to the about page so about page is quite short a little bit about me hi my name is piero Juardo. i enjoy creating delightful user interface love for ui spend my free time all right so First of all, it's weird that I can scroll this page forever and there's like nothing here. Um, but in general, in, in an about me page, by the way, still there's no way to contact you even on the about page. Like there's your resume and then there's your dribble and LinkedIn, but how do I email you? How do I like a phone number or something? I wanna hire you, man. Um, so that's weird. Um, again, so this scroll thing, <laughs> I would take care of that. Um, but in general, what I wanted to say about the about page is that, you know, I would want to see something a little bit more personal. I know that some people are worried about putting photos of themselves, but I think that this is crucial part because it, it allows people to sh see who you are and seeing who you are, like visually, how you present yourself, how you photograph yourself, what you dress and everything is also an important, uh, part when I'm hiring you, when I'm reaching out to you, I want to know who I'm talking to. So I feel like putting an image of yourself is quite crucial with these type of, uh, of websites. All right, um, Piero, I hope this was helpful. Like great, great design job. I think you can like do a little bit to improve how you present yourself, but in general, really super work. Congrats. Hope you find your next journey. I don't know if you're even looking for you know, your next work or project, but congrats on that. Great work. We'll catch you next time.